Well, get out. It doesn't look like it's been done. According to the track he did it, but it doesn't look like it from here. Very flat light. Oh, terrible visibility. So go very slowly on the way down and on the way up. Still really out of shape. But anyway, they've done the balcony, the terrace, so now it's my turn to do the terrace, which is terrible. You can barely see such flat light. So just narrow life by again, it's not the best weather. It's not blowing and it's not that cold, minus seven. Uh, it's just not flat light like this. Flat light like this is just not great for skiing. But I've redone my skis, so I should have a better glide, I hope. Uh, we'll see. See if the batteries work on this thing for a change. Oh, I get to do this guy. See him? Yeah, alright. Oh. Well. Well. Going very slowly as usual, but there's hardly any wind, and the trails are brand new. It's just the visibility is terrible. Skis are a bit bocklot, a bit slippery. I could have had slightly stickier grip wax, uh, but the glide is much better than it was. So I actually got up here much more easily and more quickly than I normally do. Uh, but this is my break spot. Uh, still almost impossible to see anything, so going down is going to suck. Uh, although the glide is amazing. So just my normal. Well, short trip. That was the electrician, so he's coming right now. So I have to be down there in 15 minutes. It should be no problem. So anyway, that's all right. Uh, so 15 minutes to make it down. Should be doable. Okay. While it's minus 10, hopefully I get a little further than the last boarded trip. Very flat light again. I'll do this guy before I forget. A little grey card balance there. So, much milder than before. Thank God. But flat light and the sun has disappeared. It may come back. And there are patches of blue. Uh, I may not use the skate skis at all on this trip up here, not until May or something. I'm just too out of shape. But I saw lots of reaper this morning from the balcony. So, <clears throat> so up the same hill again, and then let's see if I'm up to going to Orkestrud, and I think I may just do the Narlaipa again once more, my usual round. That hill is really a nightmare. So the nightmare begins slow and steady, and then I may have to change the spurting. My skis seem just a bit slippery, very slippery. So they may be very bocklata. Anyway, alrighty, time to turn you off. Here we go, it's not bad. So, still way out of shape. Battery's still alive, time to go up the big hill. That sucks. I hate this bit. Some dog is behind us. There we go. It's clearing up. Oh. Yeah. Doggies. Alright. I had to put on warmer gloves, I was freezing. Thin gloves are no good. My circulation is no good. But anyway, more people coming, and they just did the trail, so the trail's perfect. And the smirting is perfect, everything is perfect. Just out of shape, too fat. Fatty boy Arna, anyway. All right. Oh, GoPro battery seems to be working. I'm at Drikenhofen, you can see. So I can go home now, and I'll be down in half an hour. <clears throat> it took me 45 minutes up, going very slowly. Or I can go this way. Towards Orkestirland or even do the round trip. That's a much longer hike trip though. And I'm still out of shape. You can see there's the mountain.
so the patches of blue not a whole lot over that way it's blowing and it's a little cold so I don't know maybe we shall see I'll go this way a little bit and then see how far I really want to go maybe not all that far I don't think I'll do the whole Orkestolen round trip I'm too out of shape that's a fairly long ski uh, anyway oh, it's gorgeous and the wind stopped blowing it was a bit cold but I have to decide if I head home now because I'll lose altitude or if I keep going and it's a long way and it's kind of featureless uh, it's flat though but that's another hour and a half there and back do I really want to go that far today uh, but I'll show you I can keep going a little ways I guess probably go the whole way end up going the whole way but I'm just in bad shape so taking it easy little trips this time around no long trips it's gorgeous where the blue sky is huh pretty cool huh anyway I've got my my good skis the track is perfect and the smoothing was about perfect the waxing got it right so and the batteries on the GoPro are lasting now it's minus 10 so minus 27 or minus 20 it didn't like but apparently it can handle minus 10 which should it's an action camera for skiing among other things all right, I'll put you away. Anyway, if I can turn you off. Well, I think I'll keep going because the sun's coming out. I won't turn around after all. Look at that. Wow, it makes a big difference with a bit of sun. And the wind stopped blowing. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Well, it makes a big difference. We get some boots like for maybe a few hours. <clears throat> that's nice. So that's perfect. The trip of the vacation, the trip of the whole of January today. Someone on a scooter all coming from probably Tigerstein. Who knows what they're doing up there or maybe from Prestolt. <clears throat> Over there. You can barely see. There's quite a few people coming down. Two people further up. This is more like it. That sun makes all the difference. It's like suddenly five degrees warmer. Wow, not bad. Well, let's do this. Okay, can turn you off and I'll go a little further. Well, the sun is hitting Pristol Skodra, so... Uh, holding Skodra, I mean, so... I had to stop and take some photos and get some video. There it is. There's something else. So I think I'll go to the turn and then I think it's too far to go all the way. Maybe. We'll see how when I feel how I feel when I get there. I don't want to make a long trip after all. Uh, got here, got too much here. Don't need a haircut. But it's gorgeous. Wow. There's behind me. Yeah, we got some of the people coming. Right, okay. 
Well, I turned at the corner. I don't want to go too far today. I'm too out of shape to go on a long trip. It's hauling sort of it, so I'm heading back. So I could have done the whole day probably, but I don't want to push it. I'm so out of shape. So I got a nice downhill and then the usual. And the wind just picked up, so it's getting nippy again. It was quiet there for a second. It's very pretty down towards here though. Alrighty. So, put on my gloves. Get some skiing action. Let's see if I can't do some skiing action here. Awkward with one hand. Oh. Good glide today and good smitting. It actually works. You can just stand here the whole way, I don't have to do anything. It glides the whole way. Good hill, all the way to the signpost, more or less. Yeah, very good drive. That's the whole point of the racing skis. Excellent glide. The other skis wouldn't glide like this. Riding the whole way, no effort. Oh, let me try to make it. Let me try to make it. There's holding scrub there. Oh, not quite. Oh, perfect drive. Wow. Back at Rückenhoven. Now that was going to be a short ski trip after all, but a little further than what I've done before. So it's a little bit at a time. It's only taken me a month to get even this far. The wind has picked up a little bit. It's about plus 10 or something, but there's a bit of wind. I have to take some photos and then I'll turn you off until we head down to the store. We have a long glide now. Yeah, that works. Glide well. Perfect glide on these skis right now.
Well, battery's still going, about halfway done. So I'm just above the hotel. That wasn't uh, done today, that trail above the hotel, so... I mean above the store, above the Bua. So that was hard and icy, that wasn't very nice coming down on the racing skis. They're like coming down on two noodles. It's a bit scary, so I went very slowly. Slow and steady, no twisting a knee or doing a ligament like Mama did or... Just, I'll never forget that. Did her, did her cruciate ligament or whatever it was around her knee. The only one left, Mama, be careful with it. So, uh, slow and steady. So, time to head down. Behind me, it's still perfect, and there'll be more sun in the afternoon. So, yeah, it's just about right. I didn't want to go much further. Uh, and I get to edit and color, and I'll grade the video, which is kind of fun in and of itself. And there's a cute cabin behind me. And, uh, Give you a look at this door, sir. Here's the sky over. A few people out today. Past maybe maybe 15 or thereabouts. So that's a fair few. All right, put you away, and then I get to. Uh, I have to get down in one piece. Still, this trail is not very good. It's a, this looks like the scooter one here. They didn't do any... So, a lot of scooters go here, so it's all torn up. A bit hard and icy too, so... Anyway, all right. Well, I'm back, and it's 10 to 3. Quarter to 3, I left it. Quarter to 1, I've been gone about two hours. So, I sh that's long enough. I mean, I'm still way out of shape, so... I turned halfway back, halfway... Halfway to Wokerstuhl and I turned back. I didn't want to go the whole the whole round, but I could have. I mean, the weather was perfect and the sun is out and it wasn't blowing too much. My clothing was right, my skis were right. So I really could have, today would have been the day to do the whole Wokerstuhl thing, but uh, too much out of my comfort zone. I'm still too out of shape to do really long trips. Just don't feel comfortable doing that uh, on my own anyway. If there's someone else with me, I would have done it, but to Mama or something or Finn. But uh, not on my own, not more miles out there. There were a few, three other people going the same way, or four. So uh, I wouldn't have been completely alone, but uh, anyway. So I passed about 15 or 20 people today. So not that many people out, but a few people out. But perfect weather and a perfect little ski trip two-hour trip that's good enough and I got some exercise so up that big hill again and then coming down was icy and hard and not good but so you have to go where he does the trails uh, for it not to be hard and icy going up was perfect because uh, he'd done the trails this morning going up behind the behind the hotel but coming down behind the shops he hadn't done the trail and that was really hard and icy so that was not much fun but uh, anyway, I see why Finn goes on the mountain skis all the time. Okay, 